what is going on guys you already know what it is it's your boy bmc 2k i'm coming at y'all with another video and in today's video man we're going to be going over some of the leaks and information not necessarily leaks but because it some of this information did come from you know the actual 2k blog itself but we're going to be going over some details for nba 2k 23 some stuff you probably already heard so hopefully we can get y'all some information that you have not heard so we can get you guys excited for the new game man also to let y'all know man i am giving a copy of nba 2k 23 standard edition away next week it's going to be august 17th uh 11 central time 11 a.m central time so if you guys want to know how to enter into that giveaway man i have the link to the video in the description click on that video man it gives you step-by-step -step information on what you need to do to enter into that giveaway man and i look forward to seeing all new guys and new ladies and gentlemen coming through and saying what's up man make sure you hit that like button hit that sub button if you guys want to rock with me all the way through 2k23 because i'm going to be giving you all the best content possible that i possibly can man so thank you guys just want to say thank you thank you thank you thank you for making this possible for me and means the world but without further ado let's get right into this video man and what we got on the screen is uh some of the uh well not some hopefully this is all the rewards that you get for pre-ordering the michael jordan edition man and uh, as you can see you already know you get your my your my team points your vc you get the xp coins you get some shirts and outfits for your my player and then of course you got the my team stuff on the bottom with the new card art i'm not trying to show that off too too much just because this graphic that it ha i have pulled up right here isn't the best quality and i apologize for that but this one right here these three items if you can see my mouse right here the devin booker skateboard the 2k 23 backpack and the arm sleeve um for my for, to my knowledge that is going to be actual three physical items that you can get but the only way you can get those is to pre-order the 200 dollars exclusive gamestop edition and go and pick that up man so if you're not going through gamestop man i don't think you have access to those three but you already know what it is man let me see here so we get over here man and uh let's look at some of this more information uh i don't want to go through the blog just because i feel like you have to read through a lot of stuff to get to the useful information so i know that this account has highlighted a lot of the information and then which is two K nba 2k 23 leaks and intel he's a pretty reliable source when it comes to info regarding new games and stuff like that and so when we look at this this is a little quick video of all the jump shot meters man that are going to be into the game this year so it looks like they've added a couple of the old ones back and then that one with the bar was kind of like the skinnier meter bar i mean i kind of like that one the best but i think they added some of the old ones like there's the straight line meter and then there's another meter i think that goes under the feet yeah so i mean you have the option to change these it looks like so i mean that 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 could be a w uh another tweet that's here next gen and current gen will have the same build system so i know a lot of people were asking for that they they didn't want to be limited to either current or you know next gen based on stuff so it looks like they're trying to make current and next gen as as you know as as the same as possible which is a good thing that we wanted to see uh nba 2k23 will have more authentic shooting let's look at this shooting also gets some nice upgrades for 23 in 22, success from the outside was heavily weighted toward coverage. If you could get an open look, you could balance out poor ratings and inaccurate timing. This year, we wanted to get a more authentic shooting model that captures the essence of a great shooter capability. So, they have a lot. Of, they said there's a lot of different things that affect shooting this year. So, one, uh, a couple of those are going to be shot speed, which is how quickly the shot gets to its ideal release point, the release height, how high the shot is released, defensive immunity, how effective the shot is against defensive co uh, contest, and then the timing impact, which is how the uh, adjust shot windows to re reward good timing at the cost of an increased penalty for bad timing. So it looks like some of this stuff we already knew but it looks like they have a more accurate setting on what it is that they that they're wanting to do man so as far as shooting goes it looking like they're tw making it super sp making some of these uh tweaks uh super specific and i know a lot of times when they go into this super specific tweaks that it might not be as big of a tweak as we think it is but we'll just that some of those really specific things are some of the things that we're just gonna have to see about whenever we actually get into the game man so that'll be one thing we look forward to is how the contests are on shooting uh new dunk meter info 
for dunking the meter skill dunks from NBA 2K22 ability to force difficult dunks in traffic with a time shot meter they are going to return but the new commands allows us to expand the dunking controls to let you dunk exactly how you want without it accidentally firing off a skill dunk you weren't expecting when driving to the basket with the sprint trigger held the new pro stick control map for dunks is as followed then they got the list of commands for dunk for whichever dunks man um it looks like you can move them in different directions to cue something it'll be it'll be it'll, it, it definitely uh i know a lot of people they they were trying to re, what they're trying to do is what just a lot of people were having these spam spamming these op builds to go get dunks man um i think this is more park related but it could be for the this is also related to like super powerful cards in my team as well a lot of people you know you just get an overpower car you just run and dunk on anybody i think what what this tries to do is it tries to expand the skill gap between you know slashers and uh finishers at the rim and they 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 that's why they introduced the dunk meter i feel like but then you know all you have to do is start timing the dunk meter and it was still almost just as op once you got that dunk meter down man so uh i think these this is right here is trying to expand the skill gap more so they're definitely it's definitely nice to see that change man for sure for sure and then there's some information about dribbling and uh of course it, it basically this is just saying that uh they've added a lot of new size ups and new controls as far as what dribbling goes so dribbling basically to sum it up is supposed to look different and then here's like a, just a just a short clip of uh making you know how the combos look different as you can see here's the new here's the new uh stamina bar right here and uh which i'm about to get into it here in just a second but you see the stamina bar and then right under that you're gonna see three different bars so what those three different bars are in 2k23 there's a thing called adrenaline boost every possession uh which is you know between shot clock resets you're going to see here that you have three adrenaline boosts and they reset after on each possession so what these do what these adrenaline boosts do whenever you're low on stamina um to continue to do a, a certain type of heavy combo or move or to dribble man or to keep you know blow by somebody you're going to use one of those adrenaline boosts and this basically is a way to prevent people from continuously spamming dribbles or anything like that man so once your three adrenaline boosts are gone you're done and uh, you're you're done with that player on their adrenaline boost until the shot clock resets and so i mean that 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 is something that i like to see man so uh basically i, I don't want to you know make this too crazy and i don't want to get y'all bored on this info man but basically the highlight from the new uh from the there's a new badge system in 2k23 um so basically what they're gonna do is uh uh a new badge system for basically new gen so uh xbox series x and s and ps5 are gonna have a new badge system on 2k23 when looking at tell them Telemetry from previous years, we noticed that players often gravitated towards the same badges and as a result became a little, little overpowered by stacking certain badges together. This year, we're moving to a tiered badge system. So the badge system is going to be tiered, guys. There are going to be 16 badges per attribute category, 8 in tier 1, 4 in tier 2, and 4 in tier 3. Tier 1 badges are the least powerful for your player, but also cost the least amount of badge points. Costs go up as you climb the tiers and acquire the more impactful badges. The basic idea is that you'll need to equip a certain number of badges in the lower tiers before you can equip badges in the highest tier. So basically, these badges that are the most overpowered badges are what people considered overpowered. You're not going to be able to have access to those badges until you have a certain amount of the lower badges or badges that people consider not as powerful. And so, I mean, low key, that is a W. Um, it means that that uh means that your build your build will be it's at its most powerful when you're done grinding it out which i mean at the same time i know people like to have the like to have the free the you know the free balance of you know putting on whatever badges that they want on their player at any time and while that is understandable it makes builds so overpowered way too quick quickly and i think that that uh, ruins the the not necessarily the fun but i think it it ruins that grind perspective and longevity that you get when grinding a build so by doing this this is supposed to not only help level out the playing field for everybody that is taking the time to grind different builds but not only that 
um, it also increases I feel like it, it should increase the skill gap a little bit because it shows how you know players might not be over, as overpowered it's more of what you can do on the court versus relying on your badges so I think this brings a I think all in all to sum it up I think this is going to bring a, a sense of longevity especially to park players man because um, I know in my team we don't have uh, we don't unless unless they unless they bring this over to uh my team players as well like when you're adding badges you can't add certain hall of fame badges to your my team cards until you add a certain amount of badges you know of the lower ones so maybe they do something like that for my team i think that's more geared towards park but that's just my thoughts and opinions on that situation sorry to keep uh rambling for you guys but that's just my thoughts and opinions on it and then here we got the all new remove all new and remove badges so for defense and rebounding <clears throat> these are going to be some of the new badges man we have anchor bucket box out beast workhorse glove and challenger man these are all the new badges i'm gonna go over these just because i feel like the badges are probably the most important part of the game and uh they define everything so i am going to take some time to dive into these so just bear with me man excuse me so anchor a crucial badge for first, uh last line of defense bigs improves ability to block and contest shots in the paint box out beast helps rebounders win box out battles on both offensive and defensive rebounding situations workhorse the pat bev badge that boosts your ability to hustle down 50 50 balls and play hard nose defense without getting tired i don't like that pat beverly gets that shout out i mean but shout out to him glove Named after legendary defender Gary Payton helps you strip players as they gather for shots and poke the ball free from ball handlers. Low key, that's going to be cheese. Challenger. Improves the effectiveness of perimeter shot contests. I like Challenger. I like Challenger. It's basically a uh, Intimidator, basically. Uh, remove bat. Uh, but that says perimeter shot contests. So it is a little bit different. The removed badges for the defensive category is defensive leader. Defensive leader is now gone. Uh, it will not be in the game. And then we go over to playmaking badges. We have the new badge killer combos. It improves a dribbler's effectiveness with size up dribble moves. Especially, basically a combination of last year's quick chain and tight handles badges. So basically both of those badges into one. That's going to be nice for playmakers um, and help them save on uh, badge points as well. Clamp breaker. Helps ball handlers win more one-on-one -on -one body bump confrontation. The counter to clamps. Okay. So now clamps has a counter that is nice vice grip improves ball security immediately after securing a rebound catch or picking up the ball great badge for bigs okay i see it so so a lot of the badges still in the game are still going to be the same but uh these are just the new badges that they're adding so the old badges will still be there but these are the new badges that they're adding okay so clamps will still be there but now we have clamp clamp baker okay that's cool that's cool to know um Vice Grip, then you have Mismatch Expert, formerly a shooting badge. This badge now helps smaller guards break down taller defenders when mismatch one-on-one. -on -one. So it's nice to see that they made that change. And the remove badges for playmaking is Bullet Passer, Downhill, Glue Hands, and Stop and Go. I always thought Glue Hands was was dumb. I didn't think you need should need a badge to catch the ball. Um, if the players are fumbling the ball off of passes, I feel like that's more of the game than it is the player. But it is what it is. I'm glad they got rid of that. Um, and Bullet Passer. Um, there, a lot of people are upset that Bullet Passer is gone. But at the same time, it was a wasted badge. Because that should be affected by your rating. Like it was before. You shouldn't need a badge to pass the ball fast. If your rating's high, you shouldn't need that badge. It's ridiculous. So I'm glad that they made that change. Um, a lot of people say they don't listen to the community. But low key, low key, they're making some decent changes. That I feel like the community has talked about. So... But then again, what do I know? I, I'm just a guy who plays the game. Slithery. Makes it easier to gather through traffic, avoiding collisions and strips. Okay. Masher. Increases ability to finish inside layups over defenders. So Yao Ming and Shaq and all these crazy post guys are going to be crazy in my team. That's just a... a ugh. It would be lit if they called it mashed potatoes. That'd be dope. No, I'm just playing. I'm from the South. Area Wizard. Ability to successfully complete alley-oops and putbacks. Okay, not bad. Bully. Like Giannis and LeBron, able to finish strong by bulldozing through traffic. That might be cheese, though, because they've had a finish through traffic. Like, they had, like... 
they had like a finishing traffic badge. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Like they had that, but like now, like while you're getting bumped and th bodying people through traffic, that's gonna be cheese, man. Remove badge. So they have removed hook specialist in the finishing category, and then one of the ones everybody's excited for the shooting category, man. We have Agent Three, ability to hit difficult three point shots off the dribble. Midi Magician, improved ability to knock down the mid-range jumpers off the bounce or out of the post like MJ. Amped, reduces the shooting attribute penalties when fatigued and when moving excessively prior to shooting. Okay. Claymore, increases a spot-up shooter's ability to knock down catch-and-shoot jumpers the longer they remain stationary prior to shooting. So, you guys that sit corner in the Pro-Am, you guys are about to be freaking elite, bro. You guys are about to be elite, man. And I think, we, what's the next one? Okay, comeback kid. Improved ability to shoot perimeter jumpers when trailing in a game. Hand down, man down. Makes an outside shooter even deadlier if the opponent fails to get a hand in the face. Make sure you contest, guys. Space creator. Formerly a playmaking badge, it now boosts the ability to hit step back jumpers and hop shots and also will cause defenders to stumble more often. Space creator is going to be one of my favorite badges, man. And low key might have to get back into park just to access that badge because I'm telling you right now, mark my words, this space creator badge is about to be the best badge in the game. Now that it's a shooting badge, especially in my team, Hall of Fame space creator is about to be the best badge in the game. I promise you by a mile. I promise you. Limitless range and old favorite returns making shooters more effective with any shot attempt from deep three point range. I know that me and um, Big C Richie have had our differences, man. He does not like me. Um, we've gotten to it a few times, man. But uh, shout out to him because I know he likes that limitless range badge. Shout out, shout out to him because I know he likes that limitless range badge. And that was one of his big slogans that he likes to use, man. But remove badges. We got Chef, Hot Zone Hunter, Lucky Number 7, Mismatch Expert because that was moved to playmaking. We have Set Shooter, Sniper, and Limitless Spot Up all gone, man. I know a lot of people are upset to be, to be seeing Sniper removed. I mean, but at the same time, it is what it is, man. Uh, team Takeover has a redesign, man. Each player on the team has an equal portion that they're responsible for, filling up by performing well on the court and being good teammates. Once each player has filled up their portion of the Takeover meter, Team Takeover automatically fires off for the entire team team man you already know what it is man and then so it's nice to see that uh they got rid of that bro or got rid of that design and they're going with the new team takeover design it sounds like it's going to be able to be accessed a lot more which i mean would be nice especially on the you know the you know on for park and my team i feel like takeover was super hard for me to get this year over in my team maybe just because i'm booty but it is what it is man it would be nice to access more but at the same time the cards are already cheese builds are already cheese so current gen has double takeover so i can't remember if that was a thing last year or not uh if it was accessed you know a certain type of way or not but yeah man uh current gen has double takeovers now so take with that as you will um so i think that's all of the main information for this account uh, i'm trying to see if there's any uh other information we can kind of just look at or any screenshot oh yeah here's some current some current gen screenshots why is this not loading why does it look fuzzy i don't know why it looks like that these are supposed to be Okay, there, there's a couple of high res ones. And then these two just look booty. But there's some current gen screenshots. And I mean, honestly, if you look at this, besides the best, I mean, low key, this looks like next gen. I mean, if you showed me this screenshot, I would tell you it was next gen. But this is current gen, so I mean, that's kind of that's kind of wild. And then, of course, we got some Mike Wang stuff. I wasn't going to go over that stuff in this video, but I think I'm going to save that for a separate video because Mike Wang has dropped a lot of details, and I want to make sure and get y'all that in a separate video. I don't want to keep rambling on, but yeah, man, this, like I said, this account is NBA 2K23 Leaks and Intel, man. That is a lot of the info. A lot of, that, uh, a lot of the info from that was coming from the actual 2K dev blog that they released, the first courtside report revolving around gameplay, man. Um, hopefully, we can get us a courtside report from my team or something 
something like that very very soon man but this has been your boy bmc 2k i just wanted to get y'all a video regarding more 2k 23 information we're gonna get y'all another video as soon as possible regarding other information as well man but um if you guys have any questions or anything feel free to hit me up on twitter man we got a link to the discord in the description of the video as well man so if you guys want to join that make sure you come through once again i just want to say thank you guys so much for rocking with me it means the world we are on the grind to 300 subs man and then hopefully we can reach that thousand subs before the end of 2k23 man but like i said also just another quick reminder we are giving away that copy of 2k23 next week so the if you want to know how to enter that man the instructions to it will be in the description on video in the description the video links there click on that make sure you lock and sub it's free man it's been your boy bmc2k and i hope you guys have a blessed day man peace